Okay, here we go. Registration confirmed. That's the one. I hope you didn't get too rusty since last Wazura. Five Mazuras left. That should do it. Sir? Illegal activities in Sector C. Looks like two guys trying to get access to the ship in Bay 3. Identification. Nothing so far. We're working on it. Good. Send a patrol ship. Yes, sir. Okay. This baby's almost ours. All right. Got it. That was never five Missouris. Hurry up, I'll take the ship. You make your way back and take the Vasama. I'm not in the mood for losing our swag today. I order you to stand down. Stop your ships and disarm all weapon systems. Let's roll! Stop them, close the hangar doors! Aye, sir. They come. Let's get out of here. Stop your engines immediately. <laughs> Damn, these guys are crazy. Send everyone available. Do it now. Take down your engines. This is Argon Police Unit 132A. Don't make it any worse, guys. You can still get out of this. Yeah, I'm trying to. We have an identification on the two thieves. They are Julian Godlam and Brett Serra. I order you to stand down. Stop your ships and disarm all weapon systems. Sarah, lock him down and drag his ship back to the base. Everyone else, follow me. There's nowhere to run. Come on, guy, give it up. Damn, that guy's crazy on steroids. This is the Argon Destroyer, Duffolos. We've got a lock on your ship. You've got 15 Caesaras to reduce speed, or else we'll be forced to open fire. This is the Argon One. Please reduce your speed. Two of my men will come aboard your ship to pick up prisoner 14776A. This is Captain Minero of the prison transport Izuma. We are on our way to prison planet Archer to deliver our freight. That's exactly what we'll do. I only follow orders from my superior, and I don't have any information about any prisoner leaving this ship before we reach our destination. You can fill in a formal complaint if you... I'm Bandana of the Argon Intelligence Service. I'll give you a Missouri to think about how you really want to proceed in this matter. Oh, I'm... Uh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I didn't... We'll prepare the prisoner immediately. Excellent. I'm sending an express over to you. Prisoner 14776A. Name Gardner Julian. Is that correct, sir? Yes, that's the one. I hope you don't mind if I ask, but... The prisoner you are after, according to the files I got here, he's only a common criminal. Ran away from his mother, confirmed pirate affiliations. He looks like a small fish to me, so why the effort, if I may ask, sir? Things on paper sometimes tell a different story than life itself, Mr. Minaro. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. My team's leaving and ready to come aboard your ship. Stand by for transfer.
Last call for passengers for flight BRA 751 to the inner systems. Repeat, last call for passengers to the inner systems. Ready for lift off on the flight deck. Request permission to dock at Argon 1. I think we've found him. I've just received confirmation this morning. What do you want to do now? That's fantastic news. Well done, Ban. Could you give him an M5 Discoverer and send him over to TerraCorp? I'll arrange some work for him with Elena. A ship? Hmm. Is that a good idea? I'd like to see the report by the psychoanalyst first. Yeah, so would I, Ben, but things are moving so quickly I'll have to make my own mind up. I've waited long enough. If he really disappears with the ship, then at least we'll know what to think of him. I can tell this is really important to you. Okay, I'll have to think about weapon configurations. Do you think we should equip the M5 with gamma impulse ray emitters? I can still remember the time I first had my own ship. That buster slow as hell. <laughs> but the pair of tiny Alpha IREs saved my life many times. Even when I got into that fight in... Oh, he's here. I'll have to close the comm for now. We can talk later. Dana out. Come in. Hello, Julian. Good to see you again. It's been a while. I haven't been able to see you as often as I would have liked. Take a seat. It's been a busy Missouri for me here. Anyway, how did the new job turn out? Better than prison, I'm sure. Oh, wait a minute. Lieutenant Selden, please come in. Prepare a disco immediately. Sir, yes, sir. Dismissed. Sorry. It hasn't been easy for me to have you transferred. But I think you more than earned this over the last couple of Mazuras. You've worked hard, without complaining even once. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Well, my young friend. I think it's about time for you to move on to something else. Yes, I know you've not finished your rehabilitation yet. What I'm offering you is the chance to work for me for the rest of your rehab period. I think you need a bit of a leg up to get you back onto the straight and narrow, a way to make your own living without resorting to your nefarious activities, and the sooner the better. I think you're gonna like it. There she is. She's an ex-military Argon discoverer. Not a bad ship, and I'll have her equipped for you with several upgrades. She doesn't have much firepower, but believe me, that way it's more interesting. Anyway, the weapon systems are primarily for defense, and as you'll need that ship to work for me, your guns should be kept quite cool, I think. Oh. 
And maybe if you don't turn me down, I might even let you keep it. You ask every time we meet. You should know my answer by now. He's got a much longer offender record than you, my young friend. He'll have to stay in prison for quite a while. Yes, I know it's a shame. They say the kid is a really good pilot, almost as good as you. What a waste of talent. All right, I'll make some calls, see what I can do. But don't expect too much. Well, let's just say I've got my own reasons for helping you out. We're making an exception in your case. We'll talk about it soon, but now isn't the right time. There is no catch, unless you consider working for me a catch. Anyway, if you agree, I've got something for you right away. These are the TerraCorp headquarters in the sector Home of Light. The owner's a good friend of mine. He's the reason you're getting this chance. We are now located in Argon Prime. To get to their headquarters, just fly through the south gate and enter Home of Light. The TerraCorp headquarters are in the northern part of the sector. Once aboard the TerraCorp station, you'll meet the company vice president, Eleanor Coe. She's been informed of your arrival and will give you further instructions. Well, you can fly off anytime you like, but you won't. Look, laddie, rightly or wrongly, I trust you. Perhaps it's time you started trusting yourself. You know, this might be your last chance to get things right. Kaoon on all your ways, Julian. Goodbye. Mr. Gardner. I'm Commander Dennis' assistant, Lieutenant Selden. He told me to give you a few tips regarding the handling of your new craft. Commander Dana informed me that you have achieved outstanding results at the simulators down on Argon Prime, so I'm sure I don't have to go into details about the controls of this ship. This discoverer is already equipped with a couple of important updates. The turbo boost for sudden acceleration, the CETA time accelerator to speed up your journeys, and half of the possible upgrades of steering, acceleration, and freight capacity. Because of its speed, this ship is ideal to explore a system. It's good to earn money by doing small trading runs or with single-person transporting missions, which are offered on almost all stations. Commander Dana made clear that this is now your ship and you can install whatever further upgrades you like. But I don't have to tell you that this is a small M5 class scout ship. And no matter how many trading extensions you install, you ain't gonna turn it into a transporter ship. You can try out the installed weapon system if you like, but uh, <clears throat> be careful not to accidentally shoot any Argon station or ships. That's it for now. I have to report back to Commander Dana. Good luck on your mission, Mr. Gardner. Incoming message. Hi, Julian. As I told you, I want you to take a courier job for TerraCorp. Meet the Vice President, Eleanor Coe, at the TerraCorp headquarters station in the Sector Home of Light.
Gate, home of light. Autopilot activated. Entering system, home of light, autopilot off. Incoming message. Hello, Mr. Gardner. This is just a quick message to advise you to contact me through the station com after you docked at TerraCorp headquarters. I will be expecting you in due course. Terracorp headquarters. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Welcome aboard this Terracorp station. Connection to local trading network established. Julian. Welcome to TerraCorp headquarters. I'm Elena Ko, Vice President. It's my pleasure to meet you. Let's head to my office, shall we? So you're the young man Bandana asked me to give a job. He told me that you are very talented, misguided maybe, but very talented, especially when it comes down to flying spaceships of any size and shape. He's been talking a lot about you, actually. And if he thinks you're done with your past, then... Well, that's good enough for me. However, I should point out we don't usually employ people with such a, shall we say, colorful record like yours. But I trust Ban's judgment regarding people. He's really good at that. Besides, he can be very persuasive sometimes. I'm not sure if Ban told you anything about TerraCorp, so I think it would be best if I give you a quick rundown on what we are doing here. Basically, we are a very diverse business. A company as large as this doesn't focus in one particular area, of course, but I think we're best known for producing ship engines. Have a seat. Today, almost every Argon ship uses our engines Cole. and... Miss Cole, I have a problem Sorry, with not the... now. I'll be with you in a moment. We also export a large variety of engine models to other species. That makes us the number one supplier in this field. I think it's safe to say that without us, there would definitely be less movement in space. Of course, TerraCorp always has had ties to many other markets, like new technologies, research, and communication, to name just two. In addition to these large subsidiaries, we've also hundreds of small subcontractors working for us. So you see, we've got plenty of job opportunities waiting for you if you Ms. prove... Miss Cole, Cole, I hate to disturb Just you, Just a Missouri, but... please. Only if you prove to be a good investment business-wise. I'm starting you off with something easy. I can fill you in on your assignment right away, or if you have any questions, Shoot. Let's just say Bandana might not be the only person in high places that would like to see you getting back on the right track. But we'll talk about that another time. Right now, you should try to focus on doing well on your first assignment. 
The rest will come all by itself. Okay, this is what we want you to do. One of our crystal fabs has been experiencing problems with their manufacturing computer for Tazuras now. The engineers were undertaking experiments to recreate a second red crystal. This has turned out to be a very bad idea as the computer crashed. We've sent components to replace the damaged parts, but some Bakane technician fried the whole thing again. The factory is losing money all the time, so we need to get another batch of computer components to them as quickly as possible. We are going to load your ship with the required 15 computer components here at TerraCorp HQ. They will take up 30 units of your cargo space. So all you have to do is to deliver the components to our crystal fab. The fab is in the system ore belt just behind the south gate. Dock with our crystal fab near the east gate. It's really hard to miss. After you're docked, you just have to transfer the computer components using your standard interface for trading. That's it. Pretty easy, but important to us, nevertheless. Sorry, but I can't offer you anything better yet. You must start by earning respect and trust. In exchange, given time, we'll give you more and more responsibility. A fresh start is always hard, but when you look back on this in a few Jazura's time, you won't regret it. I promise. You just have to be patient. Good. We'll start loading the computer components onto your ship right away. Once you've completed this job, I'll see if I can get you something a little more exciting. Just in case you're wondering, you can sell the components at the factory, so you'll get paid on delivery. I'll mail you with further instructions when you arrive at the Crystal Fab. Good luck, Julian. See you soon. Gate or belt. Autopilot activated. Entering system or belt. Autopilot off. Terracorp Crystal Fab. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Incoming message. I'm glad you have arrived. Please dock at the TerraCorp Crystal Fab. Sell the goods via the trade menu and return here. You can then keep the money. If you want to make a few extra credits, you could pick up some energy cells or Agnu beef and sell them in a factory in Home of Light. They are always in demand. See you soon. Successfully docked. Welcome aboard this TerraCorp station. Connection to local trading network established. Resources are computer components sold.
gate, home of light, autopilot activated. Entering system, home of light, autopilot off. Terracorp headquarters. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Welcome aboard this Terracorp station. Connection to local trading network established. Julian, come on in. It's good to see you again. I've been informed your first assignment went quite well. Feels good to earn your money this way, doesn't it? Looks like Ban has been a good influence on you. Well, Julian, let's just say we don't always deal in the obvious. Sometimes our investments are more long-term. You'll see what I mean sooner than you might think. Indeed. I do have something a little bit different to a standard cargo transport this time. Miss Cole, One moment. we have a problem here, Ed. I'm busy. Please wait a Mizora. The job is very important for TerraCorp, so you can see you've earned some trust in the right places already. Currently, we are researching a new engine technology in cooperation with a group of Boron technicians and scientists. They're all staff members of a Boron scientist, Mi Ton. We've worked with him before, and as a result, we've been the first non-Boron company able to deliver engines that are capable of operating underwater. He's a genius, and what he's doing is absolutely crucial to this project. Your job is to pick up Niton and his assistants and bring them here. You'll meet my daughter Saya on the trading station in Atreus's clouds, and then escort her down to Tethys. The planet in that sector where Miton and his assistants will be waiting for you. She is the official contact person for Miton, so you can leave all formalities to her. Once you've picked them up, all you have to do is to bring them back here to the Terracorp HQ. That's it. Nothing complicated, but please, Julian, try to remember that your cargo is worth a fortune to us and consists of living beings this time around. Just one more thing, you... Sorry, Miss Cole, but... One moment. You won't be able to transport Miton and his crew with a standard ship. That's why we've prepared a personal transporter for you. It's an Argon Express. It's tanked and waiting for you in Hingar Bay 2. Take care of it. It's Terracorp property. Very good. Your ship will be waiting here for you when you get back. Oh, and by the way, you can make some more money by using the free space aboard the Express by delivering goods to the Boron. 
They always need energy and minerals. I always think that flying empty is such a waste of space. Godspeed, Julian. Attention all departing pilots. Pirates have been seen in the sector. Be careful. Hello, Mr. Gardner. Nice to meet you again. Miss Cole from the TerraCorp has asked me to give you a quick rundown of this new TP ship class. You will immediately notice that flying a TP class ship is a lot different from any small fighter. In fact, the TP's size is bigger than many small TS freight transporter ships, so a special education is required to fly such a large and somewhat bulky ship. The most interesting new feature that the TP has to offer for you is probably the back turret. This turret is equipped with a heavy laser, and you can either program your board computer to defend your ship automatically to the back using this turret, or you can jump into the turret yourself whenever you need. You will find out that this turret is needed on a ship of this size, because it's much slower to maneuver, and impossible to defend only with front-mounted weapons. Hari Selden, out. Command accepted. Gate Argon Prime. Autopilot activated. Entering system, Argon Prime, autopilot off. Gate Heron's Nebula Autopilot activated.
Entering system, Heron's Nebula. Autopilot off. Gate the hole. Autopilot activated. Entering system, the hole, autopilot off. We are scanned. We scanned your ship and didn't find any illegal goods on board. Thank you for your cooperation. Gate Atreus's clouds. Autopilot activated. Entering system, Atreus's clouds, autopilot off.
Royal Boron Trading Station. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Incoming message. Hello, Julian. Please dock here at the Royal Barone Trading Station so you can pick me up. Miton and his team are waiting for us on the planet Tethys. Successfully docked. We, Natrius, and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Mind. You must be Julian, right? Pleasure meeting you, and thanks for picking me up. So, no other passengers? That's good. Miton and his folks aren't big on socializing. Hey you, what are you looking at? This is just my standard pilot dress. It's simply a convenient, standard uniform. Look here, it's standard, I tell you. Nah. You're just jealous. Well, my mother's worked for TerraCorp ever since I was a child. The founder and CEO is some guy who claims to come from the ancient planet Earth. His name's Brennan. And believe it or not, my mother claims she's also from Earth. So yeah, the two are buddies. Brennan persuaded her to manage the corporation while he works on a new space drive technology to help him get back to his planet. And before you ask, he's had no success in the past 20 Azuras, at least as far as I know. But you don't know my mom. Don't make the mistake of thinking that the corporation is just a little utility to help finance Brennan's research. She's made it into one of the leading enterprises in the entire universe. Mother's very ambitious when it comes to business. Oh, please. Don't think I'm one of those Gonar types. But hey, yeah, I guess I'm half an Earthling. Scary, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, didn't I introduce myself? I'm Saya, Saya Ko. Ellen had told me you'd be arriving to pick me up and help deliver Miton and his crew from this planet to the TerraCorp HQ. How did you hit on that? No, of course not. Look with this whole universe full of Danas, Seldoms, and Gardners. You wouldn't expect two people to share such an unusual last name by coincidence. Whether I like it or not, Elena's my mother. Oh hell, I just realized your last name is Gardner. I'm sorry. But you must admit, Argon and Goner people are a lot less creative with their names than the Talati or Split. Really? Look, I've got to confess, I've read your files. Normally when TerraCorp sends their intelligence, I don't bother to read this stuff. Everybody deserves an unbiased start. But your files looked... How shall I say... Intriguing? Seems as a kid, you ran away from your mother and were raised by pirates. A rough life, I guess. 
And it also said you became an outstanding pilot. Skills outperforming even some of the best veterans law enforcement had to offer. Was one quote, if I remember right. But one question was never answered. What was it that drove you? What motivated you? Although I can imagine what might be part of it. I'm sorry, Julian, but Ban and Elena must think that somehow you're very important. I'm sure they have their reasons. I've no idea what, but I trust them, and I'm sure you can trust them too. Yeah, you're right. We shouldn't be wasting so much time. We have to catch the next shuttle. Hello, pilot. Could you fly a bit faster? Even a boron can swim faster than that. Autopilot activated. Entering system, the whole autopilot off.
Gate. The wall. Autopilot activated. Entering system, the wall, autopilot off. Gate Argon Prime Autopilot activated. Entering system, Argon Prime, autopilot off. Julian, I think we're being followed. I'm sure I saw a pirate ship. Too many of them. Alert, missile closing. Alert, missile closing. Where is that? Alert, missile closing. Alert, missile closing. Shields critical.
What's that? There's a ship decloaking right next to us. Wow, that was impressive. It looked like it was a TerraCorp ship, but it didn't even hail us. Very strange. Gate, home of light. Autopilot activated. Dear Holy Queen, is it not possible for you to even fly straight? Who taught you how to fly? I bet it was something without a stomach. Entering system, home of light, autopilot off. Terracorp headquarters. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Welcome aboard this TerraCorp station. Connection to local trading network established. Oh boy, you better not go back there. Meton is in a really bad mood. But don't worry, I'll take care of him. You go and report to my mother. It was a pleasure meeting you and a lot of fun fighting together. See you soon. No, this is unacceptable. How could this... I mean, I don't understand something like that can just happen. This is unbelievable. I want everyone available on this and set up a meeting in 20 Mizoras. I'll be... I'll call you back. Yokata, you're back. I've just heard about the attack. Is Saya all right? And your passengers? Domo arigato, Julian. Domo arigato. Imagine if the Express had been destroyed. Saya. My God. I should have been out there myself. Julian, believe me. From this Tazura on, you have a special place in my heart. We haven't got a clue yet, I'm afraid. You say it didn't respond when you hailed it? That's strange. Doesn't look as if it was one of ours. That's for sure. 
But the way you describe it, it definitely seems to be a vessel built after split specifications. It shouldn't be too hard finding out who the person flying it was. We got pretty good connections to the Argon Intelligence Services, as you know. Don't worry about that. It's not your fault you got attacked. And we didn't think that Ms. something we like that would Bay ever five. happen or... Ms. Cole. Not now, I'm busy. Or else we would have sent an armed escort, of course. I can't believe this really happened. This shouldn't have happened. Only very few people here at TerraCorp knew about the transport. If this was staged, there must be someone inside TerraCorp leaking information. This is definitely going to have consequences. Miss Cole, we need you immediately at Bay 5. They are... Tell them to wait. And if they don't want to wait, they can leave at any time. <sighs> anyway, before I forget, with all the trouble you had, I want you to get rewarded properly. Because of your brave actions, I think you deserve this now. I'll prepare your papers for your new Mercury. It's my old TS-class transporter ship, which I used to fly some Azuras ago. It has no equipment anymore, not even shields, so you might want to visit an equipment dock first. I hope it will help you make your way and stay on the right side of the track, and hopefully you will continue flying for us in the future. Your old ship is also waiting for you in the main hangar bay, by Skull? the way. One moment. We'll have the transporter ready for you when you leave. I'm sorry, I haven't got more time. <sighs> TerraCorp business is increasing my workload continuously. As if I hadn't already enough to worry about with all that happened lately. Oh, Julian, one more thing. Bandana contacted me a couple of stazuras ago. He wants to see you as soon as possible. I think it was urgent. Take care. I'm on my way. How is it going down there? Attention! Today there is a sale in the machine shop on level 1. Don't miss the special offers. Gate Argon Prime. Autopilot activated. Entering system, Argon Prime, autopilot off. Argon One. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Ah, Julian, my young friend, there you are. It's good to see you again. Eleanor Co. was quite pleased with your work. She told me how you handled that pretty severe situation out there. I must admit, I'm impressed. But enough of that, please dock with the Argon One and come to my office. Docking granted. Hi, Julian. Have a seat. So, where to start? Right. You always wanted to know why I helped you out in the first place. I'd have told you earlier, but I wasn't sure. Hell, none of us were. And I didn't intend to spread false information, especially in this particular case. The thing is, I'm a very good friend of your father. I know, I know. You've never met him, and you probably thought he was dead or didn't care. However, I assure you, that's not the case. 
Ever since your mother left him, he's been looking all over for you. The thing is that you're very hard to pin down. I know, I tried it myself several times. You've always managed to avoid prison, just. So this time, we finally got our chance. At first, I wasn't sure, so I kept you in the dark. For a while now, I have to admit. I'm sorry about that, but believe me, it was necessary. This way, things will turn out best. For you and your father. Well, you might have heard his name once or twice. That's because he is, in fact, your current employer. Yes, that's right. Your father is Kyle Brennan, head of TerraCorp. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions to ask, but first, let me give you a quick overview of his story so you'll understand his side of the story. That'll make things easier for you. But anyway, I think your father can tell you much more than I ever could. So I'd better leave it up to him. Unless, of course, there's anything you want to know right away. Julian, Kyle didn't become head of it. He founded TerraCorp many years or as ago. He did it as a way to fund his research. All these Yuzuras, your father has yearned to build a technology that would allow him and others to return to his homeland. Of course he does, Julian, but it's really up to you. I talked to him a few Tazuras ago and he asked me to send you over to the Gona Temple in the cloud-based Southwest system. Julian, believe me, your father really wants to see you. He's been looking forward to this for many Azuras. Kyle, your father, has been on an important mission for a couple of Tazuras, but he said he'd be back at the Gona Temple by now. Just fly through the West Gate and twice through the South Gate to get there. I'll see you two soon. I've got to pay a visit to your father anyway. He's been terribly reserved when talking about his latest trips. Anyway, I wish you both the best of luck. Oh, before you head off, one last hint from an old space traveler. I suggest you call in at the local equipment dock before you leave for Cloud Base and buy a couple of speed upgrades for your ship. Goodbye, Julian. Argon Equipment Dock. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Incoming message. Successfully docked. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Wasp missile bought. Engine tuning installed. Wasp missile installed. Gate Ringo Moon autopilot activated.
Entering system. Ringo Moon. Autopilot off. Gate red light. Autopilot activated. Entering system, red light, autopilot off. Gate Cloud Base Southwest Autopilot activated Entering system, cloud base southwest, autopilot off. Gonar Temple, docking granted, autopilot activated. Successfully docked. It is a great honor that you wish to visit the Goner Temple. The Goners welcome you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Bread and summer it is, isn't it? It's my pleasure and honor to meet the son of such a fine man as your father truly is. I know you came to meet him. He told me about it. And believe me, young Brennan, I've never seen him talking about anything that excited him so much ever before, not even when he was talking about Earth. Believe me, I would much prefer to tell you something else other than what I have to. But 
I fear I've bad news for you, young Brennan Sarmer. Your father told us that he expected to be back by now, but he hasn't appeared. I am, in fact, lacking the comprehension of his belatedness. With your arrival and your eagerness to meet your father, I very much doubt he would allow himself to be late on such an occasion. We haven't been able to enjoy his presence in Tazuras now, and we seem to have lost his shining light in the endless darkness of the universe that surrounds us. What I am meaning is that we can't find him anywhere. I wish there was better news for you, young Brennan Sama. I understand your anger, young Brennan Sama. You have my deepest apologies, but I promise you, we will find out the whereabouts of your father, and we will also find out about the path his fate has led him on. I have already talked to Bandana, a good friend of Brennan Sajin, about his unexpected disappearance. He called me back just Mizuras ago and told me about a very disturbing talk he had with Eleanor Ko from Terracorp, whom you might have already met. His troubled words led me to believe that maybe something might have happened to your father. He also said they'd be coming over here to discuss it in more detail and at length. I know this news must be hard for you, young Brennan Sama, but I'm sure your father is all right, and you will see that destiny is on our side when he returns safe and unharmed. Always remember, the existence of a simple solution is always out there, waiting to be uncovered but overshadowed by the dark forces that build our imagination. Argon Intelligence Service Corvette to Gono Temple, Bandana here. It's an honor to meet the beholder of the truth. Hello, Julian, my friend. I didn't expect that we'd meet again this soon. Before we get to start, I have someone for you. Looks like my comm calls helped more than I thought. He wanted to see you right away, so I couldn't stop him from tagging along. Hey, hey, Jules, it's me, Brett. Good to see your face again, pal. Thanks for having a worm with Mr. D. We'll talk again later, okay? Hello, everyone. Before we get to the bad news, I'd like to bring Julian up to speed on everything he doesn't know yet. Julian, your father was on a mission to recover information about a long-lost ship from ancient Gona history, the legendary AP Gunner. We thought it didn't exist anymore, but lately we got some clues that led us to believe that there might still be a chance that it was not destroyed, as we first thought. The reason why this is so important to your father is quite simple. The ship he is looking for is an old Earth vessel which could provide us with the coordinates we need to find a way to Earth. During our last conversation, Kyle, your father, told me that he had made a big discovery at the destroyed ancient jump gate. That was the last thing we heard from him. The gate he was talking about was once used by an Earth fleet to lure away the attacking Xenon forces. It was an action that prevented Earth from being destroyed. After the Xenon followed them here, they destroyed the gate, where they got defeated in the end. The remains of the gate and the last position Brennan broadcasted from are located in the sector Brennan's Triumph. But usually he doesn't leave without telling us where to find him, or where he expects his business to take him. The other thing that adds to my concern is that last video contact I had with him a couple of Tazuras ago. I'll transmit it onto your screen so you can see for yourself. Eleanor, sorry I know I'm late, but I found some unbelievable information at the old Earthgate. You wouldn't believe me if I told you right away, so I'm gonna check some things out first meet some people and get some proof before I return. If what I've found is really true, well, all these Yasuras of searching, and it was always there. Expect me back with some good news soon. Kyle, out. That's about it. Looks like I was the last one to have contact with him. Any further information from the Secret Service? No, nothing. 
went through everything we have, but the service has nothing more than you do. I just hope he didn't get himself into trouble. What do you think it is that got him so excited? Well, he must have been talking about the gunner. But this cannot be. Over the eons, every bit of information we have gathered indicated that the tragic incident in Antigone led to the unfortunate devastation of the gunner. I tried to reach Brennan Sajin with my words to tell him that he'd be hunting ghosts on his search for this holy ship. But we know that the AP gunner was at the destroyed Earth Gate, the very same location Brennan was contacting me from. Do you think all this is just coincidence? I know, my friends, this is not the time for conclusions. But I think the indisputable fact that the gunner was at the gate and actively involved in the destruction of our only way to Earth in a glorious attempt to save our brethren doesn't necessarily mean that Brennan Seijin has found a lead. We've been searching all over the universe ourselves for Yuzuras and Yuzuras. We also had our eyes all over the destroyed gate. The panel cover is the only thing we found. And you know as well as I do that it doesn't contain any clues. You know, Kyle, if he was there, and the message Eleanor received leaves us in no doubt about that, he must have found something. And if it's only the panel cover, then maybe it's got something to do with that. Maybe we misinterpreted it in some way. Maybe we just missed something that wasn't obvious at first glance. I just wish he hadn't acted so secretively lately. I went through the notes I found at his desk, but found no clue whatsoever about what he was doing. He vanished, all of a sudden. Nothing he could have found out about this long-lost relic could have been the cause of the tragic event that we have to face now. You're right, it doesn't make sense. But at this moment, the panel covers the only clue we've got. I say we start locking there and assemble a team of Secret Service agents to investigate the gate. Sorry, Mr. D, but I think Julian is right. We have to get going. You know our files, and you know how good Jules and I work as a team. Okay, it's your father, Julian. And if you and Brett want to do this, I'll give the two of you a head start. Fine with me. I suggest that Julian reports back to me as soon as the two find any new information. Needless to say, the TerraCorp will do everything to support you. I'm preparing a mission briefing for both of you, with all the background information the service has at hand. Please have a look at the information on your way to the gate in Sector Brennan's Triumph. Farewell, young Brennan Sama. Luck be with you, and so shall we. First, some information about the ship your father was searching for. Argonopedia Information Database File J211248. The ship AP Gunner is a relic of the Earth fleet which presumably entered the X universe through the Earth Jump Gate during the Terraformer battle eight centuries ago and stranded on Argon Prime. For many Jesuras, the ship was used by the government for courier services until it was acquired allegedly by the founders of the Goners, Niana Gunn, great-granddaughter of Nathan R. Gunn, and Martina Sanders. The ship disappeared more than 500 Yuzuras ago during the first scene on war, and is considered destroyed. It is believed that Niana Gunn died during the Xenon attacks in 215 on the Antigone station. The reason why your father was so interested in this ship is because of his ongoing research on a gateless jump drive that ultimately would lead him back to his home planet Earth. But the jump drive is just one component. Your father also needed the right coordinates. 
He was hoping to find them in the remains of the AP gunner. Argonopedia Historic Database File A2517. The system now officially named Brennan's Triumph contains a jump gate presumably to Earth, destroyed to save Earth from Xenon also known as Terraformer. AP Gunner finally destroyed the gate in 211 on the X-Universe side. An inscription on a panel cover reminds people of this important event. This should cover all the background information you need. Good luck. Cyan 2. Oh, the Argon Jules. You have no idea how awful these Argon prison facilities really are. Your Commander D really saved my butt, Jules. Thanks for your help. I owe you a lot. Gate, red light. Autopilot activated. Entering system, red light, autopilot off. Gate, home of light, autopilot activated. Entering system, home of light, autopilot off. Gate, President's End, Autopilot Activated. Entering system, President's End, Autopilot off.
Gate Elena's fortune. Autopilot activated. Entering system, Elena's fortune, autopilot off. Incoming message. Hi, Bandana here. I just wanted to warn you. Be careful out there, you hear me? Less than a Stazura ago, we were attacked by an as yet unknown alien force in President's End. They're broadcasting it on every channel. They caught us with our pants down. It's absolute chaos over there. We have very little information about what exactly happened. But at the moment, it looks like the attack came totally out of the blue. Hell, as to Zura ago, we hadn't even had a single confirmed contact with that race, called the Kark. Now it looks like they've declared war on us. It doesn't make any sense. We don't know if this was a single attack, or if it's the beginning of something bigger. So just be careful out there, and don't take any risks. Oh yes, it might be wise to stay as far away from President's End as possible. We don't know if it's entirely safe there. Our patrols are still checking for remaining ships. I've attached a record of the video live feed that was broadcast moments ago. I'll keep you updated if we find out anything new. Take care. Bandana out. What the... What is... Oh my, what's this? I don't know if you can see that there's something going on out there. We, we don't know exactly what we're looking at here. Oh my god, what was that? Did you see that? It just appeared there out of nowhere. I, I don't have what's... Did you see that? The thing we're looking at just seemed to split into smaller parts. But I don't think it was as a result of an attack. At least from here it did. It looks like we're under attack now too. I don't know if you got that on film, but this looks bad. This looks really, really bad. Oh my, what's that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! And that's all we got before we lost contact with our embedded reporter aboard the Argon Parola Defense 24-8. The Argon High Council is currently holding a meeting discussing the shocking events that took place deep within Argon territory today. We haven't been able to get any official response yet, but are looking forward to the press conference which will be held shortly after the meeting. This is Kira Natal, IBC News. Gate split fire, autopilot activated. Entering system, split fire, autopilot off.
Gate. Brennan's triumph. Autopilot activated. Entering system, Brennan's Triumph, autopilot off. We are being hailed. Always! Away with you, I said. It's none of your business here. Business in this sector is all mine. You will never find her first, anyway. No one is allowed near the gate. The gate is property of mine from now on. Move along. Not me. No information you get from me. I'm way too clever for you, Argons. Not going to get tricked by you. I've dealt with your kind before. Pirates is what you'd look like to me. No use for that ship you would have anyway. Besides his... I'll be gone before your types even get close. Easy, bro. We aren't here for any loot. We're just here to take a look around. Nothing more, nothing less. Stay out of our way, and you stay out of trouble. That's how it works. I got instincts. Instincts say I not to trust you. Instincts say you are looking for it too. Looking for what exactly? What are you talking about? Hey, just what kind of business are you in? Business, not your business. Ship only rumors. Don't believe everything. Don't believe anything. I'm on a salvage mission. Only salvage. Salvage here, salvage there, salvage a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You understand? Nothing special. No AP gunner. You know, bro, you might be a good trader, salvager kind of dude, but you're one hell of a lousy liar. Now, if you know something about the gunner, share it. We're in a need-to-know mode. Nothing. Nothing you'll get from me. Nothing. I'm done here anyway. Take what you can find if you see what you can get if you find it. I've left a small surprise for you, and surprised you will be. Promise. Jules? This smells funny. I think that lizard knows something. Should we stop him? Roger that. You better be a good boy and play Commander D's lapdog and take scans of the Broken Gate's parts. Your low-range scanners will come in handy, but if I remember right, you like taking walks in your spacesuit anyway. This time you'll have to if you want to get close enough to the broken parts. Wait, a uh, zero? Damn, do you get the same thing on your sensors? It looks like that guy's built some sort of minefield around the gate. Damn it. You're on your own with this one, pal. I've got to keep moving if I want to keep up with that Talati friend of ours. I'll contact you as soon as I find out what he's up to. And be careful with those mines, Jules. Especially when you're out there in your spacesuit. I hope you remember what happened to good old Bob back then when he tried to ride that mine. Good luck. See you soon. Squash mine.
No aim. No aim. Squash mine. No aim. Gate. Squash mine. No aim. No aim. Nacelle. Gate. Nacelle. Nacelle. Squash mine. No aim. Nacelle. Nacelle. Scan negative. Argon discoverer. Nacelle. Scan positive. Energy signature found. Tracing location. Data download started. Data download complete. Argon Discoverer. Incoming message. Hello, Julian. Brett Sarah contacted me a few moments ago. He informed me that the Teladi you two encountered at the gate was heading for Antigone Memorial. It looks like he was down there to use the Antigone database. From what Brett told me, it seemed likely that he is searching for the AP Gunner, which makes him a good lead for us in finding your father. We have to find out what the Teladi was doing at the gate, and what he did with whatever he found there. So, if you discover anything, I think it would be best if you meet with Brett at Antigone Memorial and see if you can find out what the Teladi was doing there with whatever he found. Argonopedia Information Database File AO31142 
Antigone was once a center of life, the largest station of the Argon Federation. It was the target of a violent attack by the Xenon in 215, in which thousands of people died and the station was completely destroyed. In retaliation for this attack, the Argon had no choice but to declare war on the Xenon. This war became known as the Xenon Conflict. Now the system is named after the Museum Antigone Memorial, which has been built on the planet Sandwell. It reminds people of this terrible incident and contains all the remaining information of the original station. Gate split fire. Autopilot activated. Entering system, split fire, autopilot off. Gate, Elena's fortune, autopilot activated. Entering system, Elena's fortune, autopilot off. Gate Farnham's Legend Autopilot Activated Entering system, Farnham's legend, autopilot off. Gate Atreus's clouds autopilot activated.
Entering system, Atreus's clouds. Autopilot off. Gate, the hole, autopilot activated. Entering system, the whole autopilot off. Gate Antigone Memorial. Autopilot activated. Entering system, Antigone Memorial, autopilot off. Cyan 2. Hey Jules, how did things go back at the gate? You managed to get rid of the mines? He left a while ago in a bit of a hurry. I tried to follow, but that son of a Talada used his jump drive. But something tells me that we'll find out on Antigone. When I was following him down there, I saw him using one of the museum's archive terminals. He was sitting there for like forever, and then all of a sudden he got really excited and ran off. Whatever he found at the terminal, it must have been something that looks like it'll make him a hell of a profit. Anyway, his next stop was one of the closed cabins at the comm center. And when he came out, he ran straight to a glider and left the planet with the orbital transporter. Some pilots here in the sector told me they saw a Taladi ship jumping out of the sector. Seems he didn't leave me much of a chance this time. Yeah, Elena Co. told me already. She said the data you downloaded must have been stored there by the AP gunner for God knows what reason. Maybe they're the key to something. I don't know. Miss Co sounded very skeptical about that. She said both Terracorp and the gunners had already turned the entire museum archive upside down, but they didn't find anything interesting about the gunner. Personally, I think we've got at least a shot. We're sitting ducks here anyway, so why not use the time we have? I've contacted Bandana, and he said he'd try to find our Tilati friend. I'll stay around myself in case he shows up again. You better hurry. The next transporter will go down in a few Missouris. Let it take you to the planet, and then take your rental glider to landing dock 18. That's where the Talati went. Try starting your investigations at those terminals I talked about. Perhaps you can use your comm device to compare the data you scanned off the gate with the Antigone archive. I'll be around when you get back.
Uploading data from storage device labeled AP Gunner. Searching through ship database of Antigone Station. No match. Searching through ship database of Antigone Station. No match. Searching through ship database of Antigone Station. No match. Searching through ship database of Antigone Station. Multiple possible matches found. Validating data. Match found. Data on storage device for ship registered under the name AP Gunner is identical with data for ship AP Sonra 44. Last departure from Antigone Station on 2.15.08.15. Elena Ko here. Julian, good to see you. How are things going down there? Amazing! That's great news, Julian. Now I understand why we haven't found the AP Gunner. It's because it wasn't registered under that name with all the databases we were able to check. We would have never been able to figure out that it was registered under the name of AP Sonra 44 without the data you collected at the gate. I can't believe it's been sitting there right in front of us all the time. I can't believe my eyes. If that's really the AP gunner in that video, and I don't dare doubt that, it really looks like they made it out of there alive. All these Yazuras who've been looking for the wrong ship, or well, at least the wrong name. Now I see why Kyle got excited. He must have been searching for the gunner, hoping for some clues to find a way back to Earth. Hmm. Maybe you should talk to Ferd Harling. He's an old friend of mine, but more importantly, by trade, he's an info broker with offices on Antigone Memorial. Your father might even have visited him to get more information after he found out what we've just learned. If there's the slightest chance that someone knows a little more than the rest of us, rest assured that this one person always turns out to be Harling. The man knows everything. He's good at what he does. So, chances are your father went to Harling for help on finding the gunner. I'll give him a call. I'm pretty sure he'll be eager to meet you. He's got quite a good relationship with your father. Ah, uh, Julian, if I'm not mistaken. For a moment there, I thought you were your father. Ferd Harling is the name. Let's go to my office. Take a seat. Whiskey? I've just spoken to Eleanor and heard about the disappearance of your father. Pity. When Kyle first came to me talking about the AP gunner still being out there somewhere, I didn't want to believe him. I thought his search of a way back to Earth had finally driven him crazy. But now, I mean, this changes everything. It looks like your father came across something he shouldn't have. Not long ago, your father came here with this really crazy story about the gunner, which, as I said already, I didn't believe for a caesura until recently. Anyway, I provided him with the information he wanted. He robbed me blind on every kind of information about sightings of old ships, tracked signals on low frequencies, recordings of distress calls, and stuff like that. That was about the last time I saw him. Now, here's the good news. When I spoke to him, he asked me to do some research on my own. So I did. So far, everything I investigated turned out to be bogus. 
However, I've got one trace that sounds promising. I was going to take this one myself, but now that you're here, well... I think I'm more useful if I stay here anyway. The trace I found will lead you to a sector called Niana's Hideout. Some of my sources have reported that they picked up strange sensor readings, but didn't read much into it. It would be a strange coincidence, but who knows? Maybe this is the gunner, sending a distress signal on a very low frequency no one uses anymore. The problem is, you'll need an LFL device to follow this signal. Without one of those, you'd be looking for a needle. <laughs> and you know what they say about space. It can be a pretty big haystack sometimes. The low frequency locator you need, or LFL, is basically a broadband dielectric spectroscopy scanning device. It's able to trigger frequency dependent dielectric responses. Um, the measured admittance is directly related to the complex permittivity, and... Ah, uh, anyway, once it finds something, the beep will lead you to it. There's a catch, however. LFL devices don't sell like Bofu. In fact, these Tazuras, it's really hard to get one. It was quite an effort even for me to locate a guy called Mankazak. He's the only one I know of who still sells these devices, and you're not gonna like it. He's a Paranid. And in case you haven't met one of these friendly folks already, Paranid must be a derivation of Paranoid. They wouldn't trust their own grandmother, even if they had one. And doing business with them is almost impossible. Their technology is very sophisticated and well-known throughout the galaxy, but you can't say the same for their hospitality towards other species. You'll have to pull off some tricks to earn their trust before one of them will even consider speaking with you. Unfortunately, neither TerraCorp nor the Argon government have the best reputations with these fellas, so you're on your own with this. One thing, though. I've heard reports that they are troubled by pirates. Could be they'd appreciate some help in their sectors. Maybe busting some pirates could make you some new friends. I know it's not a lot to go on, but it's all the information I have at the moment. Any questions? Okay, I'll give Eleanor a call. Be careful with those paranoid. Good luck. Gate the hole. Autopilot activated. Incoming message. Hello, Julian. 
Ferd Harling sent me a message that you need to get an LFL scanning device from a paranoid trader named Mankosak. I have talked to your friend Brett already and he is going to join you in one of the paranoid sectors. He left Antigono Memorial because of some stuff he had to take care of, but he promised to meet you in priest rings by the time you get there. By the way, you will be able to reach the Paranid territory a lot faster if you equip your ship with a jump drive. So I took the liberty to arrange that for you. Just drop by the Terracorp HQ in Home of Light on your way to the Paranid systems. We will have a jump drive ready to be fitted in one of your ships. You will, however, need at least an M4 class ship for this since small M5 scout ships cannot supply the power needed by a jump drive. I will not be there myself, but Saya will be waiting at the HQ for you. She insisted on supervising the installation of the drive herself. So, you see you are in best hands. Good luck! Terracorp Headquarters. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Welcome aboard this TerraCorp station. Connection to local trading network established. Hi, Julia. Nice to see you again. My mother told me that you were going to drop by to equip your ship with a jump drive. Now, let's let the technicians get to work. If you bring any creatures on board, please make sure they are chained. Any loose animals will be vaporized on site. Gate, red light, autopilot activated. Entering system, red light, autopilot off. Gate, Cloud Base Southwest, Autopilot activated.
Entering system. Cloud base southwest. Autopilot off. Gate Emperor Mines Autopilot activated Entering system, Emperor Mines, autopilot off. Gate Paranid Prime Autopilot activated. Entering system, Paranid Prime, autopilot off.
8. Priest Rings. Autopilot activated. Entering system, priest rings, autopilot off. Bro, I've been waiting for you. You should have told me that it would take you this long. I could have traded space fuel with half a dozen ships in the meantime. Anyway, I've checked out the coordinates Eleanor gave me. Looks like that main Cossack guy lives at the training dock. I haven't managed to talk to him. Seems as if I lack a reputation around here. Or at least, lack a good one. Those Paranin won't even let me land in one of their stations. I think you're the best man for this kind of thing. Right now, I don't think you'll have much luck talking to Man Cossack either, but I'm sure if you start showing a little goodwill, well, who knows what'll happen. Unfortunately, it seems the only way to earn a decent reputation with these guys is to help them out with their pirate problem. You know, it's just too easy to smuggle stuff through paranoid checkpoints. So, could be worth considering helping some innocent freighter captains or unarmed vessels. Eventually, the word will get out. Paranid trading dock. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. In the name of Priest Emperor Czar, our Priest Duke welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. I, Makosak the Great, beloved citizen and true follower of Pontifex Maximus Paranidia, have pity on you, unholy creature. How dare you come here? I hope you have good reason for contaminating our holy ground. Ah, uh, at least you know how to talk to Superior Being, little creature. But what difference does it make what I sell? I will never do business with something as filthy as you. Let's see if you at least have more credits than you have brains. 
the locator costs 3,333 credits. But for you, I have special price. 33,333 credits. Very well. I hate doing business with you, but at least I get rid of you. Go now. The locator is being transported to your ship. We are being hailed. Oh, hi, Julian. Hello, Brett. Hi, Sire. Fancy meeting you here. But it's always a pleasure seeing you in your convenient... standard spacesuit. Oh, shut up, Brett. I see you've already got hold of an LFL scanner device. That's great. Elena told me to meet you here. She said you'll travel to Nyana's hideout and could use some support. Support? What for? There's a Xenon sector along the way, and it sure sounds like some fun. Mind if I join you? Sire, are you crazy? We're not taking the rep route. Going through that Xenon sector is far too dangerous. Oh, come on, Brett. Where's your sense of adventure? The red route's a much shorter passage, and these Xenon ain't no problem. It'll be fun. This is insane. I'm not taking the red route. Well, Julian's got the LFL scanner, so he's the one who should decide. What sort of trip do you prefer? Short and fun, or long and boring? Oh, that's just fine, Julian. Your ship's not as well equipped as mine, and this trip may really be too dangerous for you. Stay with your buddy, Brett, and fly through the Argon sectors. I'll be off on the Red Route in the meantime and meet you two in Yana's hideout. And Julian, make sure you upgrade your ship a little more. It might still get rough on the way. Good luck, guys. Just met her at Terry Corp HQ. Cute chick, but for some bizarre reason, she doesn't seem to like me. Okay, Jules, just follow me. We'll have to cross a lot of sectors. If you want to do some training on the way or need to equip your ship, go ahead. My ship should be faster than yours anyway, so I'll wait for you. Oh, hi, Julian. Hi, Brad. Oh, it seems I've been waiting forever for the two of you. And I believe it! This daredevil girlfriend of yours is really still alive! Wait a moment. I think I saw a familiar signature on my navigation computer. I'm gonna take a closer look while you two do the scanning. Low frequency locator activated. Low frequency locator signal source locked. Jackpot! This really is the AP gunner! But what's going on there? Somebody found the ship before us. I knew I saw a familiar signature. That Yago guy. Open come, you sneaky lizard. Shh! Go away, you Argon people! She is mine! All mine! I am not going to share her! Shh! He almost got her free already. If that lizard harms the ship, we are in serious trouble. Shh! Ah, what's this? Oh no. Yago's getting unwanted visitors. We have to be quick. These are Kark, and lots of them. Either we help the sneaky lizard or the Kark will destroy the AP gunner. I'm going in to help him. Jules, please join me. It's way too dangerous out there. The AP gunner is an old ship without any protection. We have to secure it as soon as possible. I'll fly towards my mother and make sure she arrives with the Mammoth TL immediately. Julian, you stay here and help Brett defend the gunner. Go on, Julian. We all need luck. Cyan 3. Alpha phased shockwave generator installed. Alpha phased shockwave generator installed. Unknown enemy ship. Oh. 
target now. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Unknown enemy ship. That cowardly Tilladi's hiding in his albatross. Looks like we have to handle the cock by ourselves. Unknown enemy ship. Oh. Unknown enemy ship. Target is now in this one's space dust. Unknown enemy ship. Unknown enemy ship. Unknown enemy ship. On behalf of our president, one less we have to worry about. Unknown enemy ship. Dust. Alpha f Alpha High Energy. Yusun Royce, thanks the brainless Argon scum that you are. Your help saving AP Gunner is of historical dimension. Of historical dimension in terms of profit I make with this. But I'm nice to your kind. To show my appreciation, I've prepared a present for laser towers. Careful, Jules. Those things are heavily armed. Let's teach him how to say thank you properly. We can't take him by force. The TL is too heavily shielded. We'll do it like in the old days. I'll hack the systems and slip in there myself. Piece of cape disabling his systems from the inside. You just have to keep everything off my back. Speaking of... Ow! They got a lock on me! Hurry! Alpha Phase Alpha High Energy Plasma Thrower installed. Laser Tower. Target is now in firing range. Attention, energy low. No aim. Taylor Albatross. Laser Tower. Attention, energy low. No aim. Alpha phase shock. Alpha phase. Shockwave generator installed. Fighter drone. No aim. Fighter drone. I'm in. Making my way to the engine room. Fighter drone. No aim. Got it, Jules. This will show him what a real present looks like. Making my way out now. Taylor the Albatross. Here we go. Keep your head down. Julian, we've prepared the TL. ETA, five Missouras. Hang on. I've got active cock signatures nearby. Oh my god. There's an entire cock cluster.
no aim. Kikusho! The cock are sending a jamming signal. I can't warn Terracorp. The mammoth will jump right into this death trap. We must do something now! Julian, I need your help over here. We've got less than five Mizuras, or this will end in a catastrophe. Let's try to take out as many cock ships as we can. I'll stay close to the gunner in case our sneaky lizard returns. Gate, scale, plate, green. Unknown enemy ship. Oh, careful! On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. I think we almost got it. Targeting. On behalf of our president and senator, on behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. That was close. Let's move on to the Sonra. Everyone stay close and keep your eyes open. Argon Mammoth. Everything's quiet here. I'll wait for you guys. The Sonra is safe and sound. What? I knew it. Got a signature on my screen. It's our old pal Yago. He's heading in your direction. I'll stay put in case he tries something. Okay, Brett. Stay where you are. Julian and I are going to escort the... Chikucho! More Talati ships closing. Hey, I will make you for lost profit. Shh. It's on dry spot, friends. Friends upset. Upset because friends want their share. So Isondra is told friends to take it themselves. Shh. That Talati is getting on my nerves. Be careful, Julian. He might be going straight for the Mammoth. Talati ask why you shoot at me. Target is now firing. Ah! Taylotti buzzard. Why you pick on me? Ah! Telani ask why you shoot at me. Target is now in fire. Telani not in Telani not in a shooting gallery. Ah! You are being promoted. Nikono Fune. Taylotti buzzard. Target is now in firing range. I think that was the last one. Taking up speed again. I'm getting bored back here. You could have sent over some of those Tilati ships. There! Another cock cluster! Don't let them get through! I'm on my way! No, Brett, please! Stay with the gunner. This is too important. Julian and I'll handle this. I don't know. I don't like this. I don't know how long the Mammoth can stand this attack. You two, try to keep the cock at some distance. Brett, keep your position and don't let anything get near the gunner. Affirmative. Affirmative. Target is now in firing range. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Oh, careful, Julian. You just... Hey, have you gone crazy? Stop shooting! On behalf of our president and senator, the Ar... On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. 
unknown enemy. On behalf of our president and senator, on behalf of our president... I think that was the last one. Taking up speed again. Argon Mammoth. There it is. Imagine how old this ship must be. It looks kind of small. And well guarded, I might add. Thought you'd never make it. Good work, everyone. That was outstanding, Julian. I'll definitely recommend you for a promotion. And I've also got a little surprise waiting for you. I'll talk to you later about that. We'll be out of here as soon as we are finished loading the gunner. Everyone in need of a ride home should start docking now. On my way. No. I'll get going. That was enough cock for one to zero. I've sent a course to Black Hole Sun. Some guys I know make quite some profit there. Worth checking out, I'd say. Tag along if you want. After all the fighting, I'm craving for some quiet trading jobs. Alpha phased shockwave generator removed. Alpha phased shock. Alpha alpha high energy plasma thrower installed. Gate Omicron Lyrie Autopilot activated. Coming or not? Entering system, Omicron Lyrie. Autopilot off. Gate, treasure chest, 
Autopilot activated. Entering system, treasure chest, autopilot off. Gate, black hole sun, autopilot activated. Incoming message. Entering system, black hole sun. There we are. I can smell the credits rolling in already. Do ya? Hey, let's split up and see who gets the most credits out of this sector. Let's play it fair. I'll let you have my extra pair of Best Buy Best Sale computer enhancements. Don't ask where I got those. Ready? Steady? Here we go. Good luck, Jules. You know who fortune favors, right? Me, baby! Me! Solar power plant. Beta. Docking granted. Autopilot activated.
successfully docked. Connection to local trading network established. Energy cells bought. Cattle Ranch Alpha docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Connection to local trading network established. Energy cells sold. Cattle ranch beta docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Connection to local trading network established. Arg new beef bought. Kahuna Bakery. Alpha docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Connection to local trading network established. Arg new beef sold. Cattle ranch alpha docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Connection to local trading network established. Arg new beef bought. Kahuna Bakery. Alpha docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Connection to local trading network established. Arg new beef sold. Meat steak kahunas bought. Crystal fab alpha docking granted. Autopilot activated.
successfully docked. Connection to local trading network established. Meat steak kahunas sold. Argon ca Argon ca cattle ran docking granted. Autopilot activated. Incoming message. Hi Julian, Bandana here. We have pulled out some data from the AP Sonra's onboard computer. I don't want to talk to you about it this way, but I have to tell you that we found out what happened to your father. It might be best if you came over here to see for yourself. I'll be waiting for you on board the Argon One. See you soon. Argon One. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Good to see you, my young friend. Amazing discovery you made with the gunner. We're pulling out tons of data from the ship's onboard computer. Even though the ship drifted through space for many hundred Yazuras, its systems were recording data all the time. We don't know much about the hundreds of Yazuras in which the ship was drifting through space. But our scientists have now retrieved the first bits and pieces out of the ship's database. It looks as if the gunner already ended up in Nyana's hideout many Dekazuras ago. But now watch this. We were able to retrieve a very disturbing video that was recorded by the AP gunner not long ago. Our experts have already verified that the ship we see here was the first to find the gunner. And the first to ever make contact with the Kark. It's now clear that this was the AP Hammer, the ship your father was flying at the time. From what we see on this video, it looks as if Kyle had unknowingly caused the first appearance of the Kark in our known universe the moment he scanned the gunner. We can only hope for the best. Maybe they weren't there to harm him. Maybe they wanted him alive. I didn't need an extra reason to hate those freaks, but they sure gave me another one with this. At least, from what I can tell, it looks as if they made quite some effort to get him alive. Compared to the suicidal slaughter and mayhem they caused in President's End and in other spots, this seems to be quite different. I wish there was something we could do. I'm sure you will, Julian. But first, we'll have to find out where the hyperspace portal led that was used by the Kark to abduct Kyle. Trust me, I have everyone available working on it. And there's a lot of data in that ship, which we still have to analyze. We will find out where they took Kyle. And yes, we have to act quick. Who knows what they're doing to Kyle, and for how long they need him. I have every expert in the field working on this. If there's a way, we'll find it. I know this must be hard for you, my young friend. We have our hands full coping with recent Kark activities, which have been spreading like a disease since your father's first encounter with them. The new attacks in Ore Belt are a mystery, and we have yet to find out how all of this is linked to the AP Gunner. The captain of the Argon Colossus in Ore Belt reported the strangest of attacks lately. Kark ships seem to coordinate their attacks now, and are finding weak spots in installations and ships. Well, okay then. You've proven to be a great pilot, just like your father. If you offer your help, I'm sure Mick Balzer, the commander of the M1 in Ore Belt, would be happy to have your assistance. Maybe you can find out more about the Kark while we continue to research the content of the AP Gunner database. Good luck, Julian. We'll contact you as soon as new facts are revealed. Gate, home of light. Autopilot activated.
Entering system, home of light. Autopilot off. Incoming message. Hello, Mr. Gardner. Captain Balzer here. Commander Denner told me about you. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Just contact me on board the Argon Colossus in Orbelt when you arrive. Gate or belt. Autopilot activated. Entering system, or belt, autopilot off. Argon Colossus. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Hello, Mr. Gardner. I'm Mick Balsa, captain of the Argon Colossus. Vandana told me you would be helping out. I have to say I'm glad you're coming. We need every hand we can get against those Kark. In the past couple of Tazuras, we are target of increasing Kark attacks. Lately, the attacks are increasing in strength and, even more importantly, increasing in their precision. We fear that this is the beginning of a scenario similar to the President's End Incident. We came to believe that they might have a hidden installation inside the dense asteroid belt. At the moment, I need every single fighter pilot defending our position. We lost all our scouts in that damn asteroid field. Entering the field with our carrier, on the other hand, would be suicide. That's where you come into play. 
I want you to be our eyes and ears inside the asteroid field. You should have a mineral scanner installed, otherwise you wouldn't be able to scan the asteroids properly. We need to find out what's going on on there. Report back to me if you find something unusual inside, but don't try anything on your own. We don't know what you'll find, but there might be heavy cark resistance inside the field, so take care. I've seen too many dead wannabe heroes, these Tazuras. Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the small... Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation, thank you. For... On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. Alert. Missile closing. Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the smallest. Oh. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our president and senator. Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. Mosquito missile self-destructed. On behalf of our president and senator. The Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. An asteroid. Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the... Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the smallest. Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the smallest. Asteroid. Oh. 
On behalf of our president and senator, the Alert. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. An asteroid is one of the... Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the... Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the smallest... Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the smallest. Alert. Miss Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon... On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Alert. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the sm Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the sm Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the smallest. Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the small. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of the weapon systems not available. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Asteroid. An asteroid. Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the Asteroid. An asteroid.
Alert. Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Asteroid, an asteroid. Alert, missile closing. Asteroid. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Asteroid. An asteroid is one of the... Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our president and... Alert. Missile... Alert. Missile closing. You are being promoted. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Alert! Alert! Missile closing. Asteroid. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. An asteroid. Asteroid, an asteroid. Oh. Unknown enemy ship. Tom. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Unknown enemy station. Oh. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for... Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Oh. Alert. On behalf of our
our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Argon Colossus. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Mr. Gardner, have you already found something interesting in the asteroid field? Excellent work. Looks like the Karg established some kind of a navigation satellite. Pretty clever if you think about it. As close as one can get to the heart of the Argon Federation while remaining at a strategical position which is relatively safe. Maybe there are more of these installations in other areas. Our scientists would love to get that thing in their hands and investigate Karg technology for the first time. Anyway, we don't need it in one piece to learn something about it. Take all appropriate steps to take it down. When you are done, see if you can bring us back some pieces. Valves are out. Unknown enemy station. Attention, one of your ships is under attack. The Rock's Beard. Oh. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Alert missile alert missile clo alert missile closing alert missile closing no on behalf of our president and senator the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader on behalf of our president and senator the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader on behalf of our president and senator the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Unknown object. Warning, cargo bay now contains unknown object. Unknown object. War cargo bay now contains unknown object. Unknown object. Warning, cargo bay open, shields are down. Cargo bay now contains unknown object. 
Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Argon Colossus. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Good to see you alive. We have teleported the parts over to the Colossus. This might be a good step towards understanding what those Kark want from us, and will help Bandana and his team in his research. Oh, Bandana said he'd like to see you as soon as possible. We'll be busy here anyway. Thanks for helping out. Take care. Gate, home of light. Autopilot activated. Incoming message. Entering system, home of light, autopilot off.
Gate. Argon Prime. Autopilot activated. Entering system, Argon Prime, autopilot off, Argon 1. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Julian, welcome back. Sorry we have to do this over comm again, but I've got very little time at the moment. We're having another one of those meetings discussing steps regarding the Kark invasion. So we'll have to make this quick and catch up later. Oh, before I forget to tell you, Mick Balzer sent me his greetings and thanked me for recommending you. He seemed quite pleased with the job you did. But let's not waste too much time now. I talked to Eleanor not long ago. She told me that her team was able to extract the flight route of the AP gunner, which, as they found out, happened to cross a section of space that was occupied by a gigantic number of Kark. Possibly it even crossed their origin or homeworld. They've also been able to cross-reference these coordinates with the recordings the Sonra made during Kyle's abduction. That means they were able to pin down the location where your father must have been taken to in Kark space. And now, with the jump drive technology the TerraCorp developed over the last couple of Yazuras, we even have the possibility of sending ships exactly to those coordinates. The bad news is... I don't see it happening anytime soon. It would be suicide jumping in there, not knowing anything specific about the Kark activities in that area. That's why we'll have meeting after meeting discussing safety issues before we'll be able to do something. I knew you would want to take the job. I didn't expect anything else. So yes, I'm going to help you, of course. I'm going to help you, Julian. But I won't let you commit suicide by going there unprepared. You'll at least need to be properly equipped. An M6-class ship and 25 megawatt shields should help you stay alive at least long enough to get in and out. I spoke to Eleanor, and she agreed to prepare a ship capable of surviving in Kark territory. But Julian, don't push your luck too far. When you jump into Kark space, just take a quick look round, see if you find anything that could lead us to your father, and come back instantly. Don't take any actions on your own. I wish we could form a full assault, but at the moment we don't have the time and capabilities to equip an entire fleet with jump drives. Eleanor's daughter, Sayako, We'll be waiting for you in the Boron Sector, Rolf's Drift, in the Quantum Tube Fab, where a TerraCorp team is preparing a Boron Hydra. I'll send every bit of information to her. By the time you get there, she'll have everything you need. Good luck, Julian. Be careful out there. Gate, Ringo, Moon. Autopilot activated.
Entering system, Ringo Moon, autopilot off. Gate Cloud Base Northwest Autopilot activated Entering system, cloud base, northwest, autopilot off. Gate three worlds, autopilot activated. Entering system, three worlds, autopilot off.
Gate. Kingdom end. Autopilot activated. Entering system, kingdom end, autopilot off. Gate, rocks, drift, autopilot activated. Entering system, rocks, drift, autopilot off. Quantum tube fab. Alpha. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome. It is good to see friends aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Hi, Julian. What's this all about? Bandana told me you'd be flying to the Cock Territory. I don't like this. What do you think you'll find there that's worth risking your life for? Please don't go there, Julian. It's far too dangerous.
no, Julian. Don't kid yourself. This isn't just fun and games like a group of Xenon. These cock are terrible. Just look at President's End. You can see for yourself what those monsters did there. Please, don't go. Oh, Julian, you are so stubborn. Bandana told me not to try to convince you otherwise. He knew you wouldn't listen to me anyway. Ah, <sighs> all right. Then at least let's try to make sure you get back alive. I've contacted Miton and his team like Bandana told me to. He's finished working on the modified Hydra Bandana requested for you a couple of stazuras ago. There is, however, a small problem. When I last spoke to Miton, I told him that the person flying the ship would be you. He went absolutely crazy and refused to release the ship at all. It took me hours to convince him that you need it. Well, I'm afraid I didn't seem convincing enough, because in the end he demanded that you pay for the usage of it. He wants 150,000 credits. I know, I know. I've tried to contact Bandana and my mother. They're the only ones I know of who have any influence on me, Ton, and I can't reach either of them. Mr. Donna's assistant would only tell me that he was on an important classified mission. And my mother, God knows where she is again. I'm afraid we have to deal with this ourselves. Maybe you should try talking to me, Ton, again. No matter what, you need that ship. He's aboard too, but he doesn't want to see you. Or me, for that matter. Maybe you could reach him through the comm. I'll be waiting here for you. Koon, Julian. Incoming ship. Docking crews to stand by. basically a document that tells you to be careful when you enter cock territory. He wants you to take a look around, see if you can find anything that points to your father's disappearance, and bring back anything that looks worth examining, preferably the AP Hammer's black box. He also says, and I'm right there with him in this, that you should avoid getting into a fight with any cock ships if possible. We also said you should abort and use your jump drive to get out of there if it looks like you won't survive. This whole document he sent me doesn't really encourage me to let you go there, Julian. All right. I'm uploading the coordinates of the cock area to your onboard computer. You can access them when activating the jump drive. I'll be waiting here for you to come back. I wish you all the luck in the universe, Julian. I really do. Go on, Julian. See you. Boron Hydra.
Boron Hydra. Jump device charging at 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50%, 60, 70, 80, 90, jumping. Entering system, unknown enemy sector. Data storage device. Alert! Missile closing. Alert! Missile closing. Warning! Cargo bay. Cargo bay now contains data storage device. Jump device charging at 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50%, 60, 70, 80, 90, jumping. Entering system, rocks drift. Pilati Falcon. Boron Ray. Pilati Falcon. Quantum Tube Fab. Alpha. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Successfully docked. Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome. It is good to see friends aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Julian, what took you so long? I was dying here waiting for you. Don't ever do that to me again. Oh my god. I've just seen the data your ship's computer recorded over there. This is horrible. I'm afraid there's no doubt. These debris parts are definitely from your father's ship. I have to admit, 
You were right going there. Great, Julian, that's a good catch. You really got the hammer's black box, and it seems to be intact. Let me see if I can get access to it. One Cezura. There it is. I'll put it up on your screen. Logbook entry of Kyle Brennan. My ship was abducted into an unknown region of space during a mission to find information about the location of planet Earth. I found the AP gunner when suddenly a group of unidentified ships appeared out of nowhere. My ship is almost entirely destroyed. And these monsters are trying to break through the hull. It looks like they're trying to get to me. I'm recording this in hope that someone from TerraCorp can rescue the remains of my ship from this yet undiscovered part of space. It's almost funny that now for the second time in my life I'm lost in a distant part of the universe, not knowing where I ended up. I wish I had more time. Time to meet the sun again whom I've not seen for Azuras. Time to continue my quest to find a way back to Earth. They broke the ship hull. Now, it's only a matter of Sasuras until they have me. I... Ah! This is horrible. How could they do that to him? I have to admit, I never really believed that they would let him live, but this video, it speaks more than a thousand words. I don't understand this. Why did they make such an effort to take him alive? I mean, why him? I've seen a lot of cock attacks in the news lately, but nothing that looks like what we've just seen. Oh, Julian, I'm so sorry. If we could only find out where they brought him. There you are again. What in the name of the Queen have you done with my ship? You'll pay for this. You can believe me. I haven't been able to reach Bandana yet, but I'll keep trying. Maybe he knows what to do. All right. I'll keep trying to contact my mother. Maybe she knows how to reach Bandana. I'll let you know when I get through to him. Take care, Julian. Incoming message. Julian, Bandana here. They're preparing a large assault. It's unlike anything we've seen before. We need every man we can get, and I need you to be there in particular. I don't understand it myself, and I don't have time to think about it at the moment, but I've had something really strange on my comm moments ago. Hell, I'm, I'm not even sure if I wasn't hallucinating. All I can say is that it must have something to do with Kyle, your father. You better hurry. This looks to be huge. Jump in point for all fleet reinforcements is Omicron Lyrie Westgate. See you there, Julian. Julian, I was just contacted by Bandana. He's requesting everyone with an armed ship to help out against a huge cock wave that appeared in Omicron Lyrie a couple of stazuras ago. So did I. Hey, hey, Jules, it's me, Brett. Sorry I didn't contact you earlier, but I was busy working undercover, if you know what I mean. Hi there, sire. Always a pleasure hearing your lovely voice. I don't know if I can say the same, Brett. So, you two got the message too, huh? Guess Mr. D really got some trouble out there. At least that's what it sounded like when he ordered me to get on your wing. Yes, we shouldn't be wasting time. Where are you, Brett? Um, I think it's best if I don't tell. But... I'll jump to Omicron Lyrie right away. I see you haven't changed a bit. Very well then, let's meet at Omicron. I'm ready to jump whenever you are, Julian. All right, see you there. Okay, Julian, I'm activating my jump drive now. See you in Omicron Lyrie. Oh, hi, Julian. Hello, Brett. Don't let them. Julian, thank God you're here. You have to see this. We're trying to get a lock on the signal. Next time he contacts us, we'll have his exact coordinates. I know it sounds absolutely crazy, but it looks like it's your father. I don't know how, but it seems to be him. It's as if he'd been trying to get in contact with us. Hey, what the... 
New Kark wave heading our direction. ETA 1 Missouri. We get wave after wave coming from that huge Kark ship. Here they come. All hands to battle station. Julian, Sire, Brett, stick together. Unknown enemy ship. Target is now in fire. This one's space dust. You are unknown enemy ship. Target is now in fire. One less we have to worry about. Unknown enemy ship. Unknown enemy ship. Unknown enemy ship. Target is now in fire. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Target is now in fire. On behalf of our President and Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Alert. Missile closing. This one's one less we have to worry about. Unknown enemy ship. This one's space dust. Target is now in firing range. This one's space dust. Unknown enemy ship. Unknown enemy ship. Alert. Missile closing. One less we have to worry about. Alert. Missile closing. Target is now in fire. This one's space dust. They will lay horror and death to everyone. Oh my god! Oh my 
Picard, what are those... They're targeting the planet. I've never seen anything like that before. Julian, we've got a lock on Kyle's position. He's on the large mothership in the middle of that laser array. He seems to be alive. We've got to get him out of there, but we can't do it from here. I'll need every single ship of ours to take out those large Kark destroyers. I want you, Sire and Brett, to go in there while we draw the attention on us. You three have to get close to that mothership. If you manage to get to precise positions, you might be able to beam him out of there. I'll mark the positions on your screen. Bandana to squadron leaders. Concentrate on the large battleships. Attack formation Delta. Now, Julian, go. Unknown enemy ship. Don't let it happen. Stop. Stop them. You have to. Stop. We are holding them off your back as good as we can. Try to get closer to the mothership, but be careful of those lasers. You won't survive getting hit by one of those. Affirmative. We're taking heavy fire, but I think we can make it. Got you back. Good. Start taking your positions. You should see the marks on your display. Navigational beacon. I'm almost there. Almost there. Hang on. Same here. I'm in position.
I've marked the targets you have to take out before we try again. Hurry up. If our scientists are right, and they have to recharge the mothership completely to fire again, we have very little time left. Affirmative. We'll do our best. Unknown. Weapon systems online and ready to be used. Unknown object. Kill me. You have to. Do it! There's no other way. Do it! Hurry! One less we have this one, one less we have to worry about. Unknown object. One less we have to worry about. This one's space dust. That should do it. Return to your positions near the mothership. We have to do this far. All right, taking my position again. On my way. My shields are damaged, but I think I can make it. This doesn't look good. Our experts are sure it's about to fire any Mizora now. Navigational. That much time. I can't hold any longer. Watch out, sire! Phew, that was a close one. What? I didn't see anything. Lucky you. That was really close. Guys, you've got to get into position now. The scientists here told me the mothership is targeting exactly on the planet this time. This won't be a miss. Okay, I think I've got it. I'm ready. Holding my position. No aim. All right, activating beam sequence. Charging. We've got a lock. Beam process looks good. Oh my god. I think the mothership is about to shoot. Look! We have to make it. Looks good from here. If this works, we'll have him out before that thing can fire. Has anyone noticed that generator down there near the beam? It started glowing the moment we activated the beam sequence. You're right. It's blocking off the beam rays. Oh no! We're gonna lose him again! We can't! There are billions of people that are going to die if we lose him! I can't hold him much longer! Joel, sire, keep your positions, you can make it! I'll take care of that generator! I'm losing him again! Red, what are you doing? Get back to your position! Goodbye, you two. Promise me to take care of each other. Red, no, no! Don't do it! No! Brett! We got him! We've got Kyle! Chikuto! It's going to implode! Julian! Sire! Get away from the mothership! It's overloading! I can't get out of here! Shields are down! Ah! Sire! Sire, please come in! Sire, do you read? Thank God, I'm getting a life sign. Looks like she made it out of her ship in time. I'll have her beam to the sick bay on my ship immediately. I'm sorry for what happened to Brett. I know this doesn't help right now, but remember that he saved us all. Sorry, Julian, but I have to jump back to Argon Prime immediately. We'll lose your father if we don't get him to a hospital right away. I'll contact you as soon as I can. See you soon, Julian. Bandana to squadron leaders, take out all the remaining Kark ships while they're inactive. Destroy every last one of them. Show them that we are still standing. Dana out. Incoming message. Julian, I've not even had time to tell you how excellently you've helped us. Simply outstanding. I brought your father and Sire down to Argon Prime. They're receiving the best possible medical attention. Sire got away with some bruises and some minor craniocerebral injuries. They want to keep her at the hospital for a few tazuras, but she'll be fine. I'm afraid I can't say the same about your father. The doctors have been able to treat all of his severe wounds, but he's still in some sort of a coma. Nobody knows when and if he's going to wake up. 
All we can do now is pray for him. I have to tell you again how sorry I am for what happened to Brett. But it seems that his death was not in vain after all. We got your father back. And more important, it looks like we also fought back the Kark. We still don't understand what happened when we pulled him out, but somehow they must have used him to coordinate their attacks. I hope it will take them a long time to recover from their defeat. Maybe at least enough time for us to figure out why they attacked us, or why they use your father. There are a lot of questions to be answered, but I'm afraid only time will tell. Anyway, I want you to know that we are holding a ceremony for your lost friend. Meet me in Sector Argon Prime, on board the Argon One. We'll wait with the ceremony until you arrive. See you there, Julian. Argon One. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Julian, I'm glad you could come. Please dock with the Argon One. We'll be waiting with the ceremony until you arrive. I have someone here eager to see you. Stalking granted. We've gathered here today to say goodbye to a friend. And not only a friend, but also a hero. A hero who saved many lives in an unequaled and utterly selfless act. Knowing that by giving his life, he would save billions, he earned himself a place amongst those that shall remain forever in the hearts of his friends, in the hearts of those whose lives he saved and in the hearts of those that will come after him. He might be gone now, but he will go on living because billions of people will remember him forever.